Hey Excel Geeks, in this series we will be covering topic called project status report. Okay, how to create this project status report template uh, which will be helpful for us to manage our projects. Okay, this is a very simple step. Okay, you can see on the screen this is how we have created so far and uh, we will be having a stepwise guide if in case you are a noise in the excel and you are you know at a beginner scale okay so don't worry this stepwise guide will help you a lot okay before we begin if in case you haven't subscribed our channel i would urge you please subscribe us because we used to you know create videos which are project specific and uh, wherever you are currently working with this will really help you a lot specifically for data analyst business specialist business analyst business advisor and data related role right so this discover talent is entirely for the data enthusiast folks okay so without further ado let's get started and uh, this is the screen for ms excel as we are starting uh, this entire series on the beginner scale so when we click on this option called start okay the excel pop-up will open which is excel application right i'll click on this excel application and now it will open as a excel application then we need to click on this new blank workbook which is this and this is the excel blank workbook this is the uh, space where we are working or maybe creating a template for a project status report folks okay uh, on the top you could see these are the ribbon okay this is the status bar okay this is the status bar why status bar whatever content we are typing over here suppose I type 9 9 I want to calculate this sum this kind of thing I could see over here cool this is the status report and uh, these are the boxes which is called as a sales in Excel these are the columns these are the rows so this is just on a basic navigation I'm explaining you considering that you know this is a beginner guide okay so now I want to create a project status report template okay so for that what i will be doing over here in the project name i'll say project name over here because i want a title on the top so i'll say project name project name here cool and then i'll say who will be the project manager so i'll say manager if in case we have any specific sponsor for the project so we can add the sponsor tagline as well date and then we'll say rag which is this red amber green red amber green okay so far i have added this top headers over here now i'll go a little bit down i'll say progress and uh, achievements if in case any we'll add those as well in this column cool for now i'm just going to jotting it down the pointers okay or the headers as soon as we go ahead right we'll insert a new column like this okay right click insert a new but for now i'm just you know placing the context over here for date i'll say escalation if in case any right so uh, i'll say items of escalation or maybe I'll say numbers of escalations, right? So instead I'll just say numbers of escalation. Escalation. This template, you know, uh, folks, basis your project requirement, wherever you are working with, you can customize this. This is a no hard and fast, I don't know, you need to strictly follow this template, right? Uh, basis your requirement you can simply customize that that's completely fine until unless you know this requirement getting up fulfilled now moving ahead task description let's say task description 
and then I say date rag again for now I'll say rag okay because I know now the meaning of this red amber green meaning of this red amber green is I don't know if in case uh, the overdue of the particular activity which is called red amber okay potentially we are yet to meet that uh, you know date so that's called amber and green uh, we already you know committed as per the committed deadline we deliver that value so that's the green and then owner if there is a task assignment owner is there so we'll say that and comment section now i say top five risk and issues cool uh, and then i'll go down a little bit i'll say risk issues risk or maybe issues in the projects which is identified by the respective POCs so we'll say that as well and severity how many times it's occurred and action what type of action we have taken and owner if in case you want a any mitigation you can definitely add that as well as so a mitigation plan you can just add that too and uh, if you have a budget in place definitely you can add that okay budget spent what type of budget you have already spent and the uh, percentage of uh, spent cool so this is what we have did so far okay and uh, now it's time to decorate this entire stuff okay so ma majorly um, whatever main parameters in the project status report needs to be captured we have tried our level best to get those captured if you feel that you know some sort of parameters are missing feel free to drop a comment in below section you know so other folks can you know read it out and you know they can leverage the expertise too in case you haven't subscribed our channel so please uh, request you guys you know to subscribe our channel and give the thumbs up thanks for watching once again so now let's move ahead for the decorative uh, piece I'll say I'll add a header over here on the top okay so I'll say this particular stuff in blue merge and center here right and I'll say project status report and because we are not adding any kind of an information so that's the reason I'm keeping this content uh, as a template okay white bold center and increase the size this is the project report status report template cool now what I will be doing I'll say this arrangement right so for me project name so I'll select this I'll click on here and outside border cool this is how I have did it for now I'll say this bold and then this will be little pale blue okay so this is the pale blue and uh, now what I will be doing again this entire stuff same color black color I'll select bold bold cool now the this is the manager now as I have earlier uh, told you right so whenever we required any kind of you know, support uh, adding a new column we can definitely do that too right so that is what I'm going to do I'll click on this option I'll delete this cool and then I'll say sponsor just little bit increased now the date I'll just double click on this arrow okay and then rag which is red amber green if in case any just double click over here this is what we have did so far now let's just let me just check what else is missing I'll just select this entire stuff and then add a border now I'll say this selection 
margin center select like this center numbers of escalation so this is how we are you know adjusting this uh, space entirely folks okay now let me just bold this because these are the headers for me what i will do i'll just adjust this and uh, if in case you know your text is getting height like this okay ensure that uh, you're selecting this option called wrapped text wrap text uh, extra long text into multiple lines okay so it's converting into that and then the extra text would be like this so this is how we have added this so far and i think we can click over here similar fashion like we did for border so i'll say after selecting this entire border i'll click on this option and all border so this is how it looks like for me okay and uh, I'll, I'll keep this a margin center just big and this entire headers be like this because uh, the red amber green uh, items can be a long list so that's the reason i need a more space so that's what i kept it as like this cool you can again uh, customize this basis your requirement folks okay there's no restriction in it i'll just delete this because i don't want that and then now uh, let me just check what else we can do over here task description and uh, date so now this supposed to be have any kind of an, a header right so for that what you need to do just simply insert a row on the top i've just inserted two rows and uh, what i will be doing i just select this entire thing merge and center now you need to ensure that you know you are adding a header so color should be a different from uh, the rest of the other so i'll just select this color code cool and i'll say this is the milestone for me so i'll say milestones cool i'll say milestone and then i'll just select this color as a white 12 cool so this is what i have did and updated so far great so far we are in a good shape folks okay and uh, this is what we have did and now what you need to do again the wrap text funda okay so that fundamental approach we need to apply over here as well just click on this wrap text cool now we have this milestone description okay this is the milestone so we have our milestones description which is this so instead of that you know i'll just remove this i kept this description only select this entire thing comment first and then i'll just merge that so it will automatically get center and then i'll just select this again center middle and then bold so this is how it looks like and it's a beautiful template according to me at least you know and then i'll just create a border so as soon as i did the border so this is how it looks like now what i will be doing i'll just remove this uh, borders and i'll do a merge and center i'll just select this merge and center because these are the uh, these particular cells are in one line right so you need to ensure that you know you are selecting this into one line so this is what i am doing this right now folks merge and center great so this is what we have did now milestone milestone is done now what else these are the top five risks so ensure that you know, this is the same formatting you are applying on the bottom as well I'll just select this merge and center and then click this option format painter apply over here cool let me just do a control z again what i have did i have to select this 
uh, entire formatting because I don't want to go here click the color and the, this again no I just want a simple uh, formatting which is applied over here the same formatting I want to apply in row 19 which is available in row 12 so I'll just select this first I'll click on this option called format painter and then simply click here boom and this is what it is cool you can do this for uh, description date and this thing as well but I want to you know showcase you each individual step if in case I have missed on the top right uh, that particular step will get covered over here cool so I'll explain you this part too now what I will be doing over here I'll just select this and right click delete because we don't want that extra space so I'll just select this again owner I'll just ensure that no, I'll select this merge and center this is what I have did and simply what we did on the top bold center middle and then just insert one more row this will help us to create a more visual appealing template and then this is the selection and then just click on this all border as soon as you hit a all border similar way which is available for comment this is how it looks like so ensure that you are selecting this and merge and center merge and center and then merge and center boom so this is how this template it looks like folks okay let me just work on this option called budget spent now this is the budget spent entirely so what type of budget we have spent all together for the project this is the uh, text driven maybe amount driven value driven I would say rather yeah approach over here I just select this entire stuff selected and then added a color now I'll say this is the budget and I'll select this merge and center cool just merge and center and then select it bold and then bold select this click on this all border now it's pretty much uh, not really readable though so that's what I just select this white white wherever if you feel right uh, there is a readability issue right you, you can't read it simply just click there and then change the font color that's completely fine but for now uh, for me right I'll keep this black color only that's completely fine cool so this is what I have developed or created my own status report template instead of you know downloading from any of the online resources which might have some sort of you know risky viruses on that template right this template you can create your own folks okay it's completely free and uh, you can easily create that now the last step I'll just select this click here okay and uh, click on this option which is thick outside border boom I'll just click on this right click insert this is a beautiful template you could see over here after Great. adding this uh, column or maybe row what you need to do you just need to click on this view option remove grid lines so this is the only space now you can see rest of the other grid lines automatically get height and uh, you can add the logo if in case you need it right folks uh, so see this is how my project management template manage template this is for project management right click I just say right click and then green color cool so this is how you have uh, created your own in-house project status report template so no need to go online download any kind of a template which 
might have some viruses right which will attack your pcs okay so ensure that you know you create your own template okay folks and customize that basis your requirement stop wasting money on the online resources okay use your creativity use your brain and love your project thanks for watching once again if in case you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel thank you